This video is about how to use Teaching Woodwinds, a guide for students and teachers. It comes with a book and web content. In order to use the web content, you'll need an access code and you'll need to navigate to this web page. It's mountainpeakmethods.com and here's the home page. Click on register and in this box is where you will enter your access code. If you bought your book from Mountain Peak Music, you will have received an email automatically that has your code and instructions about how to use it. If you bought your book from a bookstore, then the code will be inside the front cover. You'll have to enter it manually. Once you enter your access code, you'll hit submit and you'll receive an email asking you for a few more details in order to create your account. One of the details is to create your login credentials. You want to remember these because once you use your code, you will no longer need your code. Instead, you'll come to the login tab and use the username and password that you created when you created your account. So you'll enter those in order to log in and get to the content. <clears throat> and here's the inside of Teaching Woodwinds. This is the home page where you can edit your account details. You can add access to another book. Here's another access code box. Once you've created your account, you don't need to create a new account, but you can buy other titles such as Teaching Brass or Cross Training, and this is where you would add those books to your account. As for now, we're going to look at Teaching Woodwinds, and here is the main table of contents. You can see that it's organized by instrument. Here are getting started chapters and its score order. So there's the flute chapter. Scrolling down, we have the oboe chapter, etc. Let's have a look at the bassoon chapter, and we'll look at 6A, getting started on bassoon. As you can see, with each chapter, you have the subheadings up top in case you want to jump to a different topic. Here we are in 6A, getting started, and these are all of the topics that are on this web page. So if you wanted to jump down to this part of the page, just click on this link and read about the bassoon embouchure. This icon means there's a video to watch. It'll open up automatically and play for you. Clicking on this icon makes it full screen. Hit escape to escape full screen. And then you can just close that new um, window in order to come right back to where you were. Scrolling down, when you see this icon, it means there is an audio file to listen to. So the audio page opens and you push on play to listen to that audio file. Once again, just close that window and you're right back to where you started. Scrolling down, we see this icon, which means there is a self-quiz. I happen to be on a Mac so it will open with Keynote. If you're running a PC, it will open with PowerPoint. We can push play and quiz ourselves. Use your forward and back arrow and you get a question. You should think of the answer before advancing the slide and see if you're right. You can press Escape to get out of there and close that window. At the end of each chapter, is a link that takes you right to the next subchapter. So we went from 6A, getting started, to here we are at 6B, first bassoon notes. There's another movie you can watch, plenty of images. Scrolling down, there's another movie. A bunch of sound files, and here we have yet another icon. This one you don't click on, what this means is that there are exercises in the book that correspond to this part of the web page. So it says, see exercises 1 through 7 on those pages. Those are the pages that are in the bassoon chapter of the book that correspond to what you just read. So you can go right to the instrument, give it a try, and come back to the web page if you need extra help. At the bottom of each page, you can return right to the main table of contents if you need to. 
You can search the text of Teaching Woodwinds. Let's just try read. And this gives you all the results. Of course, that's a very popular word. And you can see the most matches at the top, the fewest at the bottom. If we just click on the link, you will see that every instance of that word is highlighted in yellow for you. And once again, it's in a new window, so you can just close that. Go right back to your main table of contents. If you scroll all the way down, all of the resources have been collected into libraries for you. So for example, all of the videos in Teaching Woodwinds are here in a single place. And they're arranged by chapter heading. You can see here's flute technique. You can click on that and it'll open up the video page for you. So you can go right to the video if you need to. Okay, and if we go back to the table of contents, we can see we have the same thing for audio, PDFs, PowerPoints. I wanted to show you the image gallery. This is all of the images in Teaching Woodwinds. And they're organized by chapter. So we start with the basic introductory chapters and you can kind of tell where the flute chapter starts on through the oboe chapter here, etc. If I were to click on one of these images, it'll open up for me and each image has a caption. And it's a great way to study to try and remember the relevance of each image within the context of that chapter. Now you can use your forward arrow to scroll ahead or your back arrow to back up. And each image will open up with its own caption so that you can try and remember how the image was used within the context of each chapter. And once again you can hit escape to get out of there. And the tab will take you right back to the main table of contents. And that's how Teaching Woodwinds works.